What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to the channel, man. So before I started or had the idea of doing this, I, I, I researched, you know, historically black colleges and I wanted to see which one I wanted to use. Brown was a possibility. Um, some other ones were a possibility. But then I settled on uh, Texas Southern, right? So I Googled Texas Southern. And now I'm getting a whole bunch of alerts because I guess the, the, the dean or somebody got kicked out or something. Something happened and I'm like, dang, I don't know nothing about this school, but it got some issues. Anyways, though, man, a couple of things. This video is nothing but summer training. It's like Madden's training camp on the PS2, but they have a lot more options, right? We get to do the Oklahoma drill for our running backs and for our defensive tackle. We get to do this, the chase down. There's a bunch of drills that we can do, receiver drills, DB drills. So you're going to see all of those. That's why the video is so long. Um, as far as upload schedule for this, I don't want to stick to a direct schedule because I don't want to disappoint anybody, but the plan is to upload this game or this series three times in a row then do eastern illinois there will be times when i post eastern illinois and there will be a double header same is going to be true with this series okay i really want to focus on this series want to make everybody know the players understand what we're trying to do on the offensive side of the ball who we are recruiting another thing that i want to touch on is a couple of comics i saw on the last episode or the little intro video it really wasn't in the episode little intro video i said i was going to recruit maybe some guys who are white i was going to say this pretend that they're light-skinned brothers but as we know, it is harder for the historically black colleges to become household names because they don't really get the best talent. So maybe I will try just to just to recruit black guys, not because I think black are the berry, the sweet, the juice, or anything like that, but I think it would add another challenge, another element to this dynasty. Of course, y'all should know I have no issues with white people at all. All right, all right, moving on. Um, as far as what else was I going to touch on? Oh. The other comment that I saw was somebody suggested that we do a series where we where we uh, send the draft class to Madden every single year. So have a series of Madden and the NCAA series start at the same time. And you know me, I try to think creatively and I'm thinking why not combine a Madden and NCAA series just together and it will be its own series. Not a separate Madden, not a separate NCAA, but its own series. I'm thinking about doing that possibly in NCAA 07 on the PS2. If you have a suggestion for which game I should use, please let me know you could even suggest a 360 version i believe the last 360 version where you can import an actual draft class from ncaa to madden was madden 12 i believe that was the last one i do like madden 12 i thought ncaa 12 was okay y'all know me i think that the ps football ps2 football uh is the best football that there is you know what i mean i think 360 has some good games of course all pro football uh madden 12 ncaa 14 but at the end of the day i think ps2 ever since really 2004 ncaa 04 madden 04 2k5 and so on has just been superior gameplay and just I, I just like it better okay i like it better but i'm open to whatever so i will I'm, I'm going to try that because i also wanted to do a series in madden where we have an updated roster and of course i would update it myself because there's really no way you can get an updated roster on the ps2 because you can't like download rosters and like at least i can't okay i know some people can modify their ps2s and stuff i can't do that okay i know my limitations i'm humble enough to be like hey you know what I can't do what everybody else does, okay? So I just gotta be me. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do like those two ideas, trying to recruit nothing but black guys. So it is it is going to be a struggle because I thought about that when I was looking at quarterbacks for in-season recruiting already for this dynasty, and it was hard. It was hard, okay? Some of the best guys just happened to be Caucasian. And we were going down the list before we got to some brothers. So anyways, man, I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. Um, and yeah, so Eastern Illinois will be posted still. We have not abandoned that dynasty. I do want to see if we can win another championship without the homie Lance James. I did save Lance James and I did save that draft class. So maybe I will import that into Madden 06 just to see how he does. But I do like that series idea. So we will be doing that at some point. Um, what I was saying is though, yeah, I want to do an updated roster Madden, uh, just because 
I don't really care about, you know, players, so to speak. Like, I do care about players. Like, don't get me wrong. I do care about players, player safety, player salaries, all that stuff I do. But I really just like the game of football. And I think football is one of the sports where you really don't need stars to sell your game. Of course, we do like our favorite players and stuff like that. But we really don't need stars to sell the game, okay? Basketball is a little bit different. You kind of want your stars, yada, yada, yada. Football is not really the same beast, all right? So at the end of the day, I just want to have fun uh, with this dynasty, with this series. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it now again. If I did before, I apologize. But this will be a spread team because our running back situation really isn't that great. Um, both running backs are 65 overall. If I mentioned it before, again, I apologize. But this dynasty is kind of like Eastern Illinois. Any school that's not Division One. It's basically like the same type of roster. It might not be the exact same for every single school, but you're going to see a cookie cutter roster from one school to another school. So this school right here, there are no freshmen. That that's like that's like something that goes with every school that's not Division One. No freshmen at all. Uh, quarterback is beastly for us, kind of like what it was with Eastern Illinois kicking things off, and we have a good receiving core. So I'm like, why force a running game? Um, the running game in this game is actually quite difficult. It's pretty hard to run the football. This is our option. This is for our backup quarterback, Harold. Um, he, he he has some speed. He's not the best overall quarterback. So, again, it's going to be a spread look. It's going to be some option runs. We will try to run the football. I'm not going to just throw the ball 60, 70 times like with SMU or something like that. You know, it's not going to be an air raid. We're not Texas Tech. We're going to try to establish a ground game. Um, but at the end of the day, passing the football is easier in this game, and our quarterback and receivers are the strengths of the whole team. Defense, as you can see, defense is hunting, but, I mean, the defense is playing on Heisman difficulty. They have five guys stopping the run. We only have, what, three guys, one blocker, and then the pitch man and the running back. So, at the end of the day, it is a little bit difficult to run the ball to have the jump snap, and I think the jump snap is a little bit cheesy, but I am working on the slider set. Again, we are playing on Heisman. Heisman difficulty. All right, all right. In the beginning, you had the assigned jersey numbers. I was hoping that that would give us the opportunity to have some dual numbers, have some guys that both wear number one, both wear number two, yada, yada, yada. That's not the case in this game. Because I thought that would be cool because, of course, just throwing out of school, Ohio State, you had Dob uh, Dobbins and you had, um, what's the DN's name? That's the, his name's escaping, but you know who I'm talking about. He's, he should be maybe the first pick in the draft. I know everybody loves Boro, but uh, I mean, the dude from Ohio State defensive end, he, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. You put him on that D-line with, 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 with the Bengals guy, I'm just saying, but that's my opinion. But anyways, man, those two guys both for number two. That's the point that I'm making. Right here, we're running the 40. Uh, did not go too well. We ran a 4-9 with our cornerback. That is Robinson. I believe that's our cornerback. I believe that Robinson's our cornerback. I know... There's Armstrong as a receiver. Uh, Dukes is a receiver. Um, I think Robinson's a corner. I could be wrong, but I believe Robinson's a corner. He could also be a receiver, so don't kill me. He did run a 4-3 right there. 4-5, excuse me. 4-5-3. Finished with a 4-9. So we're going to bump up his speed. Um, anybody who is like a senior, I don't really want to focus on too much uh, because they're going to be gone. Obviously, and they're, they're, they're not coming back, all right? So I'm trying to work in some sophomores and some freshmen, but I mean, not freshmen, but juniors, uh, but the, the talent is not there. And you guys are some are, are some meanies because you guys want me to schedule Texas A&M and Texas and, and and maybe I obliged and most likely I did. And I know I, I know that I did. So the schedule will be shown at the end of the video. But my goodness gracious, man, Texas, Texas is ranked number three in this game. And I did not put in anybody's name. Andrew Luck is in this game. Cam Newton is like an 80 overall at Arbonne in this game. Um, so I didn't put anybody's name just because I want to get to the dynasty. Kind of just want to focus on this team so to speak but again when we do do this series and i will start working on that probably this week because i'm i'm still debating if i want to have these guys have the end have the newer nfl players in the game maybe i'll do some of them 
I don't know. Y'all can leave your suggestions. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm down to put in the work because I think it will be. I think that that's a dope idea. I really, really do. But I think I want to have some newer NFL guys in there. So I'm probably gonna wait for the draft to start working on that. Work on Madden 07 because that's the game I'm thinking I want to do it in. Is is Madden 07 NCAA 07 on the PS2? I think that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Unless you guys have a better suggestion, you better leave a comment down below or it's just not going to happen, all right? It's not going to happen. So where would I leave off at? I left off somewhere and I don't remember. I had some notes, but I lost some notes. And then I tried to rewrite some notes and there's not here. Just want to get everybody updated. But yeah, Texas A&M and Texas are both on the schedule, I did uh, schedule some um, historically black colleges on the schedule as well. Um, and then I tried to go with some lesser schools, like I believe North Texas is on the schedule. But again, you guys will see it. You guys will see the top 25. Um, talked about the roster a little bit. Receivers, that's our best look. I've, I'm going to show you the end season recruiting in our target list and our big board, if you will. As my boy Dukes gets loose to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. You ain't going to catch him. You better jump in the car to catch him. You got to get away from the cop speed. You feel me? Um, so, yeah. We will try to upload this again twice. At least twice. Sometimes three times in a row. And then we'll jump back into Eastern Illinois. Eastern Illinois will most likely be two games in one episode. And I'm going to try to do that in this as well at times. Um, and, yeah. I think I kind of touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Right here, we're working on a wide receiver. Thompson. I did change some guys' numbers. I had to, man, I had to give everybody um, equipment. And I ain't talking about, like, shoulder pads and helmets. You know what I'm saying? This ain't Pee Wee. I'm talking about, like, gloves. You know what I mean? I'm talking about some spat on the cleats. Everybody got black spat, by the way. Uh, but gloves, face mask. Everybody had the big face mask, the full gauge face mask. Nobody had equipment as or accessories, I should say. So I had to go through the whole roster and do that. So whenever we play a team that's not a Division One school, um, yeah, it's going to be ugly. Now, I could go through some of them and just add, like, some gloves to receivers, maybe change up the face mask. But, yeah, I was pretty. I wasn't disappointed because I kind of already knew that. But it was just like, dang, like, I really got to do this. And, yeah, that's what I had to do, man. So I did change some players' numbers, especially the cornerbacks. Uh, number one used to be 25. Uh, number nine used to wear he used to wear some number. I don't know. But all I know is that I changed some guys' numbers. Thompson, I believe he used to wear 87. I figure we're in Texas. Why not let him look like a little bit like Hopkins from the Houston Texans? Why not just let him do that? So now we're playing corner. And, and I'm getting chewed up just a little bit, man. I'm getting chewed up just a little bit but that's all right we got my homie cross out there um whoever i'm highlighted as that's the guy that we're working on so i'm working on cross i'm trying to boost up his abilities his agilities his attributes and all that stuff so right here we're getting the dog piss kicked out of us but you know what it is okay because you know we're down 30 what 325 points or 325 points in the hole until i get my swagger on baby you see the play right there baby can you do it back to back is the question i can do it back to back coach okay watch me work watch me work watch me give me that thing i remember high school boys i digress um, I heard, I overheard the, the, the what the quarterback was telling the receiver to run, and I played receiver. So I was like, hey, I know exactly what's coming. I jumped that route, high step to the end zone. I looked behind me, not none of the coaches were looking, man. Like, like my goodness gracious, bro. I finally did some good in practice for once in my life, and y'all didn't even pay attention. Anyways, that's a okay, because now I'm, uh, uh, hey, I'm a grown man still playing football. It's just on a video game and in a video game on a TV screen, uploaded to YouTube, and there you go. And my mama always told me to be a broadcaster, and maybe she was right. I'm going to just settle for YouTube right now because I have other responsibilities. Know what I'm saying? Anyways, back to the action. This is the last attempt for Cross to get something, and it's incomplete, so we get 100 points we finish with 25 and we don't get any attribute boost then you can see that hey sometimes the computer's just beastly okay now we're on defense and my middle linebacker uh felder i believe felder he is pretty good man he's pretty good all the seniors are pretty pretty good and that's what has me worried if you remember in atu atu our first season we won the game or we won a game right i believe we won a game the next year we went winless and it's because with ATU, it's much like these schools where the freshmen and the and the underclassmen are straight buns. <laughs> it's doo-doo. So 
that's what could happen here, man. We might have a decent year one. I do not. I think we're going to get the, the dog snot. This, this, this just mashed out of us by Texas and Texas Tech and whoever. I think I put Georgia Tech on the on the uh, schedule too because y'all got to remember Georgia Tech did not always run the triple option. So I'm trying. I looked at both of y'all suggestions on Eastern Illinois Dynasty and on this Dynasty, and um, I will schedule some cupcake teams for Eastern Illinois to beat up on. But I also want to play some dogs, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I put a lot of those teams that didn't make it on that dynasty in this dynasty schedule. So we will face Gramlin State, Georgia Tech. Now, going back to Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech does not always run a triple option. Like, a lot of people confused uh, when Calvin Johnson was there, when, uh, like, Demarius Thomas was there. Now, Demarius Thomas, he was part of that triple option. He would get, like, maybe three, four passes thrown his way, but he was more of a blocker. They ran like shotgun plays with Calvin Johnson when he was at Georgia Tech. So they not they did not always run the triple option. All right. I believe in this game that they should be running the triple option. I believe NCAA 11 or 10 was the last year Demarius Thomas and Des Bryant won school. Because I believe Madden 11, Des Bryant was a rookie. I remember playing with him online, and he was he was a beast. Remember him and Madden online? I mean, Madden was trashed then, too. But it was like online, that boy was a monster. Straight monster, all right? So we got about two more drills. I know you guys are probably tired of drills and me just rambling. But, hey, I got to fill some time. I just wanted to show you guys what the offseason, what the summer training is all about. When we go to the next season for this, I will only show a few clips of me trying to work on some players, especially some freshman players, and see how they do. But it's not going to be the whole training uh, because y'all don't need to see the whole thing. I wanted to show the first thing or the, the whole thing the first time because I thought it would be a good look. And you guys can get acquainted with some of the players like Jordan Witherspoon, who is our best deep tackle. He's now 82 overall. So now we're controlling Brown. He, I believe I believe he's our nickelback. He used to wear 42. That's what it was. He wore 42. Now he wears number 9. All right. And I believe I changed some uh, linebackers numbers around as well. But for the most part, everybody's numbers stayed the same. A couple of cornerbacks, a couple of receivers, and a couple of linebackers has changed their numbers all right all right so right here the quarterback and i'm gonna be calling him wilshire okay wilshire that's what i'm gonna call him it's not gonna be wilshire it's not gonna be like a hard ch it's gonna be sure you know what i'm saying because i was trying to find if anybody had that name and when i said wilshire in like my google uh microphone thing it, it came up with something else and i was like hey whatever and then i spelled it in the google search bar and it came up with something else so that was more of a, a sh sound so i'm gonna go with will sure if anybody has a problem with that hey then you do if, if you know the correct pronunciation then that's fine but we all know that in today's day and age there are a bunch of names that are spelled the same that you can pronounce differently so i'm gonna just go with will sure if anybody has a problem with that then hey then you got a problem with that congratulations you have another issue over something that you can't control so two remaining reps will sure throws it that's gonna be caught by ford and it's a negative 100 points we're down in the hole the negative 200 that's not a good look at all and we'll sure drop them back and that's gonna be incomplete so we finish with negative 100 so first game of the schedule number three texas then we got gremlin state north texas then we are at texas a and then we have umass on the schedule at tulane then we're at georgia tech then we have a bye then we have then we have a game versus uh, tulsa air force at new mexico state then we got perry view a and m then we have another bye and then we finish up with jackson state so that is our schedule, all right? Here goes our recruits. Again, I'm, I'm going to try to take on a challenge. They're going after but nothing but black guys. And then, hey, at running back and cornerback, we're probably going to be A-OK. -okay. Every other position, who knows? <laughs> but anyways, man, so you can see that the quarterback, he was a four-star. He is a four-star recruit. Um, there was a bunch of five-stars, but, hey, they were Caucasian. So, I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm going with the challenge. That guy, Lester, he looked like a brother that dyed his hair. Lester looked like a brother that had just blonde hair. So, hey, again, it might not be perfect, but I'm going to try my best to limit who I go after because, again, in real life, that's what the historically black colleges kind of do, and we all know that lesser schools get lesser players, and that's just the world that we live in, man. So, Alabama was ranked number one. This was the beast year for Alabama. Um, of course, they have a whole bunch of household names. It's not going to be their household names in this game. LSU is 17, then Penn State, Oregon State, and then number 20 is Arkansas. Then you got Florida State, North Kakalaki, 
Utah, Cincinnati, and Houston is the last team in the top 25. When we go to the Heisman, let's check it out one time. You're going to see that they have Oliver, Larry Oliver. I remember him. Larry Oliver, he plays for the Ravens now. So, yeah, he a beast. Uh, yeah, he he he's a beast. That's like the offensive coordinator for the um, Cowboys, that, that Graham dude. Yeah, Hopkins. He got stabbed last year. It wasn't a good look. I hope everybody's okay in that situation. And then Jordan, he, re he decided to retire early in the NFL, but that's neither here nor there. All right, I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are looking forward to this series. Y'all stay safe out there. It's a crazy world that we live in. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.